So this is the EGR valve, and this is probably the first thing that I should have told you to check. Um, it's, it's the exhaust gas recirculator valve, and uh, what they do is uh, they, take, uh, they take exhaust gases uh, after it's sort of burnt. I don't even know where it pulls it from. Probably the, well, some, some exhaust area somewhere in the engine, in the head, I guess, maybe through one of the exhaust ports or something. Must be. And uh, depending on the conditions of the engine, whether it's hot and whether you're on the highway and all that kind of stuff, the computer will tell this EGR valve to open and it will recirculate some of the unburnt exhaust gases in through the intake plenum and reburn them again. It's an emission control thing. Um, the, it does certainly uh, you know, help with emission controls. Problem is, uh, your engine's burning air that's dirty, and uh, you know, I'm sure performance is reduced due to that EGR valve. Um, so the EGR valve it, mine is electronic actuated by the computer. Some of them are vacuum actuated. I think there's actually three different types and they are expensive. You need to replace them like several hundred bucks or a couple hundred bucks or something. So you're, you might be best off going to a junkyard if you have to. But the problem with them is since they burn exhaust gas and there's all kinds of dirt and soot and whatnot in the exhaust areas, um, they clog up with chunks of carbon. And uh, they'd be the size of the head of a pin or maybe even like a small pebble. And there's a pintle, which is like a little valve that that is what opens and closes this EGR valve and uh, it'll get clogged up with the uh, carbon and then you'll idle really poorly. A um, couple things I've done before when I've had a really rough idle is I'll take the back of a screwdriver and I'll give that a whack, not enough to break the, break the thing obviously, but give it a couple of taps or a real whack and, um, and that has sometimes cleared it right up so you can try that. The other thing you can do, which is what I almost always have to do and I've had this off four or five times, is take out the, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, the, the 10 millimeter bolt here, take that out uh, using a wrench from this angle, and then there's a 10 millimeter bolt on the other side that you can see right in there. But uh, for that one, I use a socket on a quarter-inch drive with an extension, and I go in in front of one of the pulleys. Um, so anyway, take that off. Uh, certainly take the uh, electrical connector off first. Be very careful with the tab that you don't break it off. And then pull the CGR valve out, and you'll see right away if some junk is blocking the pintle. When you get it out, there's a Torx bolt that holds the end of the pintle on. Uh, get a Torx socket, or even a, a standard screwdriver that fits in there tightly, and don't remove the bolt or anything, but you can spin that pintle, and uh, by spinning it, you can actually clear the, the um, mating surface of the pintle and the EGR valve body. And so I had a check engine light that would come on and off for a long time. I took the EGR valve out, and I still didn't see any chunks, but uh, when I cleaned that pintle, just using the method I described, then the uh, check engine light didn't come on anymore, so it's, uh, it certainly works. So that's the EGR valve. That thing, I would check that first if you're having a, a no start or hard starting or rough idle. Um, check that guy.